Poshmark is one of my favorite places to shop. That's a variety. All right, guys, it's our last day in Houston. We're driving back to San Antonio today. So say goodbye to the beautiful skylines. Bye. So today we're going to go shopping at H Mart and 85 degrees C. Yeah. So bakery items and Asian groceries. I'm so excited by the time when I get home, I'm going to show you what I get from H Mart. I'm so excited. This yeah, is like, like Yes, this is the most exciting part because I came here to shop. I know a lot of people they don't care about those groceries because I think for a lot of people, this is like something new. When they go to HMR, they're like, oh, this is something new. But to me, it's like, oh, this is something I grew up with. So it's like regular food for me. But now I feel like I'm deprived because I don't have access to them every day. So let's go. We're going to check out a hotel in H Mart. Drive home. Yeah, we miss our cat. And I'm gonna film our grocery haul. So I want my cat. Okay, me. let's go. Eighty-five degrees C bakery cafe. I'm so excited. There are so many people in line. I'm gonna go crazy. Oh, this one is gone. I wanted to try this one. So you want a white chocolate? I kind of want to try the milk tea bun. Brandon, do you want to buy this for your or dad? Buy one, get one 50% off. Oh, potato, this is potato. Impossible barbecue bun. Well, this looks so good. Hey Bear, I want to buy some of these. Pineapple bond, so good. I'm gonna go crazy. Do you want to try the coconut racing tart? One or two? One or two? Ha ha kato cheese tart. Good one. And then we can just buy the big box of egg tart. Yeah, they only have one. Oh Let's take it. They have coconut swirl. Look at him. He's still like playing his game while hosting all those breads. guys everyone we're going to H Mart this is the last trip in Houston and then we're heading out to San Antonio so let's check it out what's in H Mart in Houston let's go oh this is too big remember the potato chips that's like butter flavored potato chips we need to get that butter flavor to potato chips oh these peaches look so fresh Oh, dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. You want to get some for the road? Are you really going to eat that in the road? Black coral cooked. Black corn, really, really good, really, really healthy. Oh, these are so good. Black sesame soy milk. Oh, they have the green tea soy milk. Green tea matcha soy milk. Wow. <laughs> if we're in Austin, I would have bought it. But H Mart is one of my favorite places to shop. It has a variety collection of stuff. What are those? Extra hot. Stone tofu extra hot. Oh, this is my favorite radish. I love those radishes. 
These are just salted. Oh, wasabi green peas. I love those. Get two. Oh, toasted corn nuts. These look so amazing. I kind of want to buy these. Stir fried kimchi spicy pork. Oh, that looks so good. Beef vegetable soup. Oh. oh. This one? Oh, uh, this, this is not Costco, it's a Korean brand, dummy. But it's only Costco. But they don't sell this particular thing. Thinking about getting. Do you want to try this spicy beef vegetable soup? Okay, whatever. Why not? You know, why not? I am in heaven. This looks so good. Seaweed. My favorite thing, seaweed. Tokyo Taraki Nori. This one tastes really good and it doesn't have a lot of fat. So we gotta go. There's one more, get that one. Roasted shredded. This is for this is for rice. If you want to make seaweed rice, this is like seaweed rice seasoning right there. More seaweed snack, more seaweed snacks. DHA layer, interesting. DHA layer. I think one of them has like almonds or something, extra crispy. My favorite is the spicy flavor. Crispy season at Korean barbecue flavor. Which flavor do I want? How about this? Hot taste. Ah. Green tea stuff. This brand is actually pretty good. They have other flavors, but I don't know where the other flavors are. Ethiopia coffee. Kenya coffee. Oh, fancy, fancy. Oh. I bet this is good. Golden oolong milk tea. Interesting. Still have some milk powder, so I'm just gonna not buy it. But hey, this one's super good. Super good. Super hard to resist. It'll end. One of the gifts some places recommended is right over there. Golden Oh, this is the one! This is the one! Gotta buy this one! This is the favorite! Something you must buy. It's a little bit pricey, it's $3, but it's all worth it. I didn't know they have a bigger bag, $4, $5, buy two? How many do you want? Because it's not healthy, right? This is something you have to try, it tastes like heaven. It tastes like heaven. Banana caramel Kit Kat. Interesting. Salted egg salmon skin. Right, do you want to try? Oh, salted egg potato chips. Interesting. Salted egg crunch row. I've never had those. Excited? <laughs> Salmon skin. I probably won't like it. Brandon loves salmon skin. But another pineapple cake. This is like the favorite brand. <gasps> Pockies! 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 They're cookies and cream. Honestly, in China, there's like a milk flavor, but they don't have it here. In China, we actually have a flavor called milk flavor Pocky. But here, people are like, did you mean cookies and cream? I'm like, no, it's milk flavor. It's like vanilla milk flavor, but there you go. Pocky? Highly recommend this. The green tea one is not as good as I thought, but I really like this milk flavor one. It tastes like vanilla white chocolate flavor, which is really good. So good. This is my favorite aisle. My favorite aisle. I love those rice crackers, guys. If you love rice crackers, this is one you can find from H E B, like although like regular, uh, regular store. But want want is the one that I eat since childhood. I already bought some from the other store, so 
They also have the shell assembly, the bigger one. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. So these rice crackers. Highly, highly recommend these. This one really good. This brand, highly recommend the gilda from this brand. This is my favorite brand. Do we need any Asian kitchen stuff from here? Shower scrubbies. Oh, nice. They're selling duck over there. Duck and chow sao, barbecue board. Want to serve traditional Korean dish? They got the ceramic pot right here where you can put soup and rice. They have different sizes. And if you want to serve sushi with soy sauce dippers, like those are really nice as well. The little like kimchi and uh, edamame beans. <gasps> Look at this! This sushi cup is amazing. This is $10. Oh, look at this. This is for you to drink green tea matcha. Ooh, lots of luck. This cup is so cute, guys. Oh, lucky cut. This is so cute. Actually, I would buy this, but we have to drive all the way to San Antonio, so. But this is really cute. They also have like more serious ones with all of the hanji. This one is so cute. Fuju means like a lot of luck. These are all the uh, our little symbolic icons for lucky. So abundance and luck and fortune. So I highly recommend this is only ten dollars. I know ten dollars is not too cheap, but considering the you know the details. I think it's pretty good price stuff. So if you watch K drama and they want to buy anything that looks like the K drama, H Mart is the place you shop. This, this is the one that we always buy, right? Mm. Yeah, that one is super white, right? Whatever you decide. Guys, always buy the sushi rice. It tastes so good. It tastes very different because it's more, I don't know, the texture is way different. They also have different grains that you can get. In a pot, there's no way. What is this? One of the snacks that she likes to eat. Alright guys, I think it's time to check out what I got from H Mart, Welcome Market, and all of those amazing grocery stores from Houston. All those amazing Asian grocery stores. And also the 85 degrees. Of course, I already ate something on the road. Okay, let's get started to see what I got. Um, the first item is the Chinese sticky rice in the lotus leaf. This is what it looks like. Ta -da. I'm gonna put these in the freezer. These are from the Welcome Market and this is located in one of those I think it's like very close to H Mart. It's like H Mart on one plaza and then Welcome Market on the other plaza. And they have the Chinese sticky rice and the locust leaf. And these are so good. And they have three different styles, I believe. They have the Taiwan styles, Shanghai styles, and Cantonese, like Hong Kong styles. And then they got the Cantonese styles because that's what they're used to. But of course, my grandpa lived in Shanghai for a long time when he was a child. So my grandpa actually loves the Shanghai one. So it depends on which style you prefer. So we got a bunch of these. And also guys, inflation is real. This used to be like $3 each and now they're $4 each. And that's 25% up, 25%. So inflation is real. The next one is a seaweed snack. They have two different flavors. This one is the spicy flavor. They also have a teriyaki flavor, I believe. So some seaweed snacks, they have a lot of oil. They have like a layer of sesame oil or olive oil. Like it depends, like they're like, 20 different flavors not like 20 different flavors but like 20 different layers of different types of oil because when you layer the set um when you layer the seaweed with different oil of course it tastes not just the seaweed but also the sesame oil or the olive oil so they have different aftertaste but this one i don't think there's a lot of oil on top and i got these from h mart highly recommend if you love seaweed this one doesn't have a lot of oil. also from h mart i got wasabi green peas 
Please, I know, I know, I know. They're so good. I'm a huge fan of wasabi for some reason. I feel like every time I eat wasabi flavored stuff, my sinuses just get really, really clear. And I love that feeling. So, well, if you don't know, I'm allergic to a lot of stuff. Like usually my sinuses are not clear, but when I eat wasabi, it's just, clears it out so i got wasabi green peas i got two boxes from h mart they have so many soup options so many soup options like if you love korean food asian food but you don't know how to make them but going to restaurants are too expensive for you know um eating with your family so definitely buy this soup base it basically tastes the same and you can just add any ingredients that you like so for this one it's spicy beef vegetable soup and what you do is that you can just cook it with boiling water or in the microwave or in the pot I usually just like cook it in a pot and I also add like additional whatever vegetables so just now we just went to grocery store we got some napa cabbage so I'm just gonna put some napa cabbage you can also put tofu or whatever meat or whatever vegetables in there this is great soup base yeah I love kimchi soup and I love like all, all kinds of soup from Korea this is the sushi rice that we always eat we love to eat rice but we usually don't eat jasmine rice i used to like jasmine rice but growing up i'm from the north and the rice we eat they're kind of sticky because they're like very starchy so there are different types of rice and some rice are more starchy versus others are like I don't know, every single molecule of rice is just right there. I love starchy rice, I love sushi rice, so we got sushi rice. We're buying it not for sushi, we're just buying it to eat it. It tastes so good. Highly recommend, these are extra fancy sushi rice. And of course we don't eat rice every single day. We should, but we don't. We also eat potatoes and other stuff, bread sometimes. So it's okay just to buy a small bag. These are not the cheapest thing, but if you're just like trying to eat rice as a delicacy or just trying to eat rice, rice when you have time to cook you want to eat the best rice possible so we got this sushi right Ta-da! these are so good last time i went to hmr i only bought two and this time i wanted to buy more but they're not a lot so i got three i think there are only three left on the shelf i do want to say that the h mart in houston at least the one we went to is a little bit smaller than the h mart in austin that we go to of course i, I bet there are like multiple h marts but today the h mart that we went to is a little bit smaller so there are not many options compared to the one from austin that we usually go to but they still have a lot of great items, especially the iconic items. So these are the Tokyo Teriyaki Nori. These are so amazing. And these do not have a lot of fat in there either. It's just mainly like dry roasted um, flavored nori seaweed. I love seaweed. Of course, I need to be careful not to eat too much seaweed, but recently I've been going a little bit crazy with see these next then if you haven't tried these you have to try this there's no other way this is from the brand high Thai. this is with real honey honey butter potato chips i knew about this from some youtube videos and originally i was like huh honey butter potato chips not impressed so i didn't try for the longest time until last time i went to hmr i was like let me just let me just see what the hype is all about and it was so amazing it does taste like heaven chips in there they're really thin crispy potato chips and the flavor is so good it's a little bit sweet a little bit savory and also it has this buttery honey taste to it it's just so amazing so amazing and we also we bought actually two bags and we ate one in the car with brandon's uncle and he was like <gasps> You've never tried something like this in the regular store. I was like, isn't it amazing? Isn't it the greatest invention ever? So we got two bags. We try not to buy too much because of course these are not healthy and those are very addictive because they taste lighter than the air. Let me repeat, they taste lighter than the air so you could easily eat the whole bag by yourself. Just saying, just saying, because they're not too salty. Because sometimes the potato chips are really salty. These are savory, but it's not too salty. It has a little, little bit of sweet and saltiness, but it's not too salty. So you can easily eat them, overeat them. Bag of matcha booster. Matcha unsweetened booster. So, ta da! This one you can just make a matcha green tea latte or like a smoothie or things like that. And I'm very excited. I'm very excited. These are unsweetened, so pretty, pretty healthy. 
Matcha is super food. Okay, so the next one. Okay, I don't know how, what to think of this. This is the salted egg salmon skin. These are fried salmon skin. My husband loves salmon skin. Every time we eat salmon, especially when we grill some salmon in the griller, like I just can't do the skin. <laughs> so if you don't like to eat fish skin, this is not for you. But my husband loves, loves, loves skin of the fish, like especially salmon. So every time and he was like oh, I love those nice and crispy salmon skins so he got one of those I'm just gonna leave it to him so this one is really fishy but it's also very crispy it's not too fishy but between the salmon skin chips and the shrimp chips I would just go with the shrimp chips because I like the shrimp flavor more than salmon I felt like salmon's a little bit too fishy for me these are actually called black pearled corn so what it is is that these are basically black corn and you know you know how American actually GMO their corn to make the corn syrup like the high fructose corn syrup like when I lived in China our corn our corns are more starchy and they're not very sweet they're like starchy corns they're not sweet at all but then I came here I was like these corns do not have any starch in it but it's like extremely sweet but these are more starchy I love starchy corns I don't like super sweet corns so there we go this one if you watched my last Asian grocery haul you should be familiar with this but today I found extra hot extra spicy of course I have to take it I love 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 spicy food so um, usually I don't see the extra spicy usually I see the mild medium spicy but today was like mild spicy extra spicy I was like there you go I have to try this extra spicy one. Oh, actually this is something new I went above and beyond when it comes to seaweed snacks so I got another seaweed snack again this one doesn't have a lot of oil if you look at it there's zero fat there's literally like not a lot of calories in the seaweed like seaweed snacks are super low calorie and the calories that are in there are usually the oil that's layered on top like the sesame oil or olive oil so when you see a lot of calories in seaweed snack it's not from the seaweed itself it's just like it's kind of like the leaves in the sea, right? So um, usually the calories you see are actually from the fat content that we layered on top of it um, artificially. So, so seaweed has a little bit of like fishy, like ocean taste. It also has this like a little bit of a grassy taste. So that's why I felt like a lot of times people don't like it. So to make people like them, a lot of the places they put like oil on top, like sesame oil, so it has this like really good texture and it covers that like grassy, like ocean taste, but I like it. I like it. Third up is pineapple cake. If you like pineapple cake, this is my favorite one. There's so many different brands, but this is the one, the pineapple cake. You have to try this brand. This is from this brand. Just remember this logo right here. And of course, if you really want the best of the best, you have to go to Taiwan, okay? You can't, you have to go to Taiwan to have the best of the best because my aunt is actually from Taiwan and sometimes when she visited me in the past um, in Beijing, she will bring me like those um, milk candies and also the pineapple cakes. It tasted amazing. It was, it was like the good ratio between the fruity taste and the milky, creamy, cream taste. It was so good, butter taste. But this one is just as good, maybe not the best but it's the best it's the best i can find in usa i want to say in america like it's very hard to find those good pineapple cakes and there's so many different brands but this one is the one to go Ta-da! so this is another pineapple cake this one is a cheaper version so i think this one's like 14 dollars, but this one is like seven dollars so as you can tell <laughs> Um, this one is definitely more expensive than this one, but I do want to say this one tastes better than this one But this one is not bad. So if you love pineapple cake, but I just couldn't I I can't I don't want to spend too much money So I bought one really really good one to enjoy when I'm really really happy after you know You know after dinner or something as a dessert, but these are the ones I'm gonna eat as a snack like you know, when I'm hungry or something like that. So I know, like knowing that this one tastes better, I would still buy something cheaper. Just, I'm a cheap, I'm a cheap person, so. But I don't recommend this one. This one's not bad at all either, but not as. Moving on. 
So we got more seaweed. These are actually from a different grocery store. I think this one is the one by Ocean Palace. I felt like the Asian grocery store by Ocean Palace, it's in the Hong Kong city. That one has more Vietnamese food. So if you like Vietnamese food, definitely go to that one. It's in Hong Kong city by the Ocean Palace. And this is actually, I think it's the same brand as the one that I got from Trader Joe's. I'm not 100% sure, but this is the crispy sea snack wasabi. Wasabi flavor seaweed. These are so, so, so good. $4 for four. And also I got two matcha latte mix. I got these from the Asian store in Hong Kong city as well. My mother-in-law loves matcha latte and I bought those two. You know, these are the things you can stock up because you know, they don't go bad. You can just drink it along the years and stuff like that. So I got two. I wanna say that matcha has a little bit of bitter taste to it. So if you don't like it that much, try matcha latte first. But I am very, very used to, to that taste. So I actually just get the pure powder and then just make um, matcha latte by myself without any cream or sugar. We're just putting them. Hello Panda, these are so cute. There are different flavors from Hello Panda. There was like strawberry, chocolate, milk, this is vanilla, but I call it milk, but this is really vanilla and it tastes like white chocolate. There's chocolate, strawberry, green tea, and vanilla. I usually like green tea stuff, but the green tea alabana <laughs> wasn't my favorite. I like the chocolate and I like the vanilla. The strawberry, to me, the strawberry flavor is a little bit more artificial flavor. So I do like this. The vanilla it tastes like white chocolate. So good. This one and the regular chocolate. Want, want. Um, these are the rice crackers and these are spicy and sweet rice crackers. And this one is just the regular sweet rice crackers. So I got the spicy one and the sweet one. Ta-da! Both are really, really good. I'll take it to work. Cause I work a lot of times I get, <laughs> I get bored. It's not five yet, it's four o'clock. I wanna go home and I wanted to snack, but I don't wanna eat too much. So I just snack on the rice crackers. They're not heavy at all. It's really good munchies for you. So try this out. They're all right, now let's check out what I got from 85 degrees C. And this is also 85 degrees C. First of all, we got so many egg tarts. These are so amazing. These are the best egg tarts that I've ever had. Well, except for the ones in KFC in China. But of course, I have to go all the way to China to eat the egg tarts from KFC. So to describe the taste, they're really creamy, a little bit sweet, and the outside is very, very fluffy. So it's like fluffy crust with super creamy. It's kind of eggy, but it doesn't taste like egg. It tastes more like a cream like heavy cream type of thing. So got three boxes. So um, Brandon's gonna bring one to work. I'm gonna bring one to work and then we're gonna finish these. So what I got from 85 Bakery Cafe, where is it? Here we go. I know I went above and beyond. Cause all right, last time I felt really, really bad because last time, if you guys remember, we went to Austin and then we went to 85 degrees C. And back then I was like, I want to eat low carb diet. Okay, I'm gonna eat less carbs and those are all carbs all carbs so i just couldn't justify me buying a lot of bread so i just didn't buy them and then by the time i got back i felt bad i was like why didn't i buy it it's not like i eat it every single day or every single week it's like we go like once a month or type of thing like we went in march and now it's in may so once every two months so i was like this time I'm just gonna get everything that i like and if I can't finish them, I can freeze them, but I'm pretty sure I can finish them. I just went above and beyond, but this is not just for me. There was also my husband. Um, so first of all, these pineapple ones are really good. And I think one of those are Danish. Which one is Danish? One of them are Danish pastry, and the other one is Danish cream pastry. I can't tell from the outside because they kind of look similar. I think this one is the Danish cream or something like that. One of them is like Danish cream. And then this one, I think has like some stuffings in the middle. What I like about these breads is that they're so fluffy. They're not like super hardcore, like you bite into it, it's like solid. These are not solid. They're, these are like sponge cake. It's like so soft, so, so, so soft. And I also got two more tarts. Pretty sure these have to go into, oh, this is a coconut tart. And this one is like um something, some sort of like cream tarts, but Egg tarts is the best because egg tarts are actually not heavy. Like you can actually keep eating them, but some of these tarts could be a little bit heavier than the egg tart because egg tarts are actually a light dessert or breakfast item. So we got these bread. I already ate one on the road, of course. Okay, let's try this. I don't have pants on. 
doing? Nobody can see. Oh, it's pretty good. It's a cream cheese in the middle. I'll try it. Do you think it's better than egg tart? No. But the cream cheese is pretty good, right? It's good. It's pretty good, but egg tart is better. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. We're finally home. I hope you enjoyed touring Houston, Chinatown with us. We definitely have so much fun. Probably gained 30 to 5 pounds because we're like eating like crazy for the past 30 days. So we're gonna head out to the gym. He's gonna do a cycling class. I'm gonna do a yoga class just to rewind, recover from all of those amazing food. And of course, I brought them home, of course. So I still got them. Here, so we can still indulge a little bit the following week, and I probably have to lose the weight. All right, alrighty, that's it for today. If you live in Texas, comment down below where you're watching from. Have you been to Houston, Chinatown, Austin, Chinatown? Where is your favorite place to eat? If you're not from Texas, comment down below. If there is a Chinatown around, and do you recommend us to pay a visit to your Asian restaurants or Chinatown? Alrighty, that's it for today. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, thanks for watching. Me the moon. Tell me you'll be on real soon. I wanna wait no more. We could be dancing in the stars, we could be floating all the way. As long as I'm safely in your arms, and it don't really matter where we stay.